Talk about how things kind of stay in the air. You did so much in this house creatively. There's so much, it's so rich. You feel it when you walk in. It's, it's thick with music. Do you think yeah. that endures? I mean, long after we're all gone, someone's going to be in this house in 50 years, 100 years. Do you feel like it, what you did still kind of lives in the walls here? Absolutely. What was it like? I know that a lot was written before you recorded it, but the fact that you were, that we see you in the documentary creating, you're going through the process, did you find that, it, or do you think that it affected the performances knowing that the cameras were going? I mean, did that make a difference in terms of what you recorded? Which you're not normally shot, you know, videotaping no. when you're recording. What did that do to the, to the recording process for you, knowing you're on camera? Well, the cameras really became very uh, invisible because everybody was very subtle. And, um, and we, I liked everybody, you know. I, I, I mean, for, at first it was just us filming and Dave filming. And then, and then he brought in somebody who was really good with a not very big camera, with no lights. We never did any lights. And we never turned our lights up that, we, that are in the house. Because we, we had to re retain our ambience, you know. So, um, so they, but now they have cameras, you know, that can lighten yeah. it up. So, so knowing that, you know, Dave said to me, darling, if you don't like it, we won't use it. And I'm like, okay, that's a promise, right? And he said, that's a promise. I said, you're not going to go sneak away and put, it, put something out without, he said, I'll never do it. It's, I promise you, this is, will never be seen ever by anybody if you don't love it. So that's, and at that point I said, okay, good. Then I picked out a uniform. That I, was gonna, that I wore every day, and it looks like the whole movie was made in one day because I wear exactly the Smart. same thing. I, but it isn't exactly the same thing. It's 10 different tops that are exactly alike. And it's the same with stage. You know, I have a uniform on stage. I, have a uni I had a uniform here. So I didn't have to think about what I... Because it, it, I said to him, it, it's such a commitment to film. We have to make it easy. If I just look awful, I'm not going to be happy. And he says, you're not going to look awful. He said, do, I said, well, I'm going to pick a uniform. I'm going to wear the same thing every day, and I'm just going to change jewelry. And then it'll, you know, I'll just change earrings and jewelry. And he's like, okay, that's a cool idea. And I said, and you're going to remember that I am not 20. And he goes, yes, I am not 20 either. And I'm like, okay, and you're going to remember, and I know you know how to shoot women, because he does. Because he, he was really behind all the shooting of all those videos that the Arrhythmics made. Right. You know, if Annie was out in the boat for Sweet Dreams and Dave was in the water filming her, somebody else was filming Dave and Annie, but it was all Dave's idea. Mm -hmm. And everything they did, really, from a style standpoint and from a musical standpoint, was kind of crazily in his head, which isn't to say that Annie Lennox wasn't, you know, equal 50% sure. totally in there. But Dave, you know, Dave said to me, I suggested to her that she cut her hair off very short. And I'm like, well, that never would have worked with me. <laughs> and he goes, well, I know, but I, you know, I thought it was a look that might really be great because she could be very androgynous and uh, I thought, you know, and, and, he, and he said, and she did it. She cut off really long hair, she's gone. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm never going to do that. But um, I, I, I watched all those videos. And I said, so I know that you know how to film women. I know you have a very good eye, and you know to get all this, and you know to shoot from the right side. And you, I said, so I trust that you will film me and make me look good. And at least, if not good, interesting. So that's all right. I'll accept interesting. Um, but if I look like an old hag, I'm not going to be happy. So that won't be, that won't make the movie. So um, he's like, it, you're never going to look like that. I'm, I will be sure. And, and he said, and when I bring somebody who's not necessarily better than me, but I'll be busy playing the guitar, and I'm, you know, they will see you just as I see you. So um, I, I, and I believed him. 